Hello everyone, this is Taria from Hidden Truth Tarot, and this is going to be your daily tarot reading for Friday, the 27th of August, 2021. Please keep in mind that this is an intuitive reading. Remember you guys to always take what resonates and leave what doesn't for someone else, okay? Alright. Thank you, Spirit. What messages do you have for us for Friday, the 27th? I'm using the Tarot of Dreams, and I will be pulling several life purpose oracles at the end of the reading. All right. If you are interested in a personal reading with me, you can check the description box, and you can find the information that you need to get in touch with me. Oh, look at that. Okay. So we have the world. The magician. The king of wands. Wow, powerful energies already. Okay. Ooh, Eight of Wands. Now with the world, we have the devil clarifying it. That is Capricorn energy right there. Clarifying the Magician, we have the Two of Coins. Clarifying the King of Wands, we have Death. Wow. And clarifying the Eight of Wands, we have the Chariot. Holy smokes, look at all the major arcana here. Wow, from the bottom of the deck, the overall energy is faith. That is powerful, you guys. All right, we move this over a little bit. Um, a quick announcement, you guys, my dog Bosco, as y'all know, I've been having, uh, he has a lot of health problems. He's ha He has heart failure. He's having problems with his trachea today. I've given him his medicine, but he's coughing a lot. So you may hear that in the background. Just know that I'm doing what I can for him. And he's, uh, he just hasn't had a very good day today. Gave him a little bit of a uh, Benadryl, um, and that's supposed to help with his trachea medicine. So, poor guy, he's he's hasn't uh, been feeling well today. So, you guys, please keep Bosco in your prayers and in your thoughts. Um, now, look at all the major arcana. There are nine tarot energies here. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Six out of nine are major arcana. Very significant. That means that there is a huge shift. Change is coming. And with faith, the Hierophant, the energy of Taurus coming up here, this is the number five. Fives represent change. Okay, it represents life's lessons. It represents the things that we may feel are not so, it's stuff we don't want to go through. It's we we may see it negative, but it's it's stuff that we need to go through in order to, you know, grow, okay, and learn. Definitely, right here, some of you are going within. You are going through the dark night of the soul, and you're you're about to come out at the end of the tunnel here, okay, and it's changed your outlook on maybe career. Um, what you want to do for the, you know, you, you may want to change direction completely. You may want to change 
you know, go from an office job to having a career where you're working outside in nature, okay? Some of you may be thinking about going back to school. Some of you, this is definitely thinking about being your own boss, getting together with like-minded individuals. You know, this is spiritual mastery right here. This is a teacher energy right here, okay? You know, you guys have mastered paths. Every time that you go through the dark night of the soul, or you learn something new like tarot or uh, I do a path working that is you are mastering that path and this is a skill you know skills that you put in your spiritual tool belt that you will use someday trust me we seek self mastery but that is something that is uh, you know we could live a hundred lifetimes and not know everything that there is to know, okay, or to learn. And so we, we seek out to master paths, uh, learning things, and we build up our spiritual tool belt while we do it. So that's a powerful overall energy. Um, let's set this aside here. Let me I hope I don't forget to <laughs> pull those at the end. Um, I just I see you guys really trusting the divine now. It's like you're surrendering, you're releasing control over things that you felt like you just had to have a hand in, and you've realized that it's done nothing but hurt you, and you're going to surrender it and release that control and what happens when you do that is it's life-changing okay um, that's when you get unstuck that's when doors open up opportunities become available now you have the world right here okay and I'm gonna read these together because they go together right here so you have okay so you have the world this isn't the end of this feeling limited restricted okay this is over you have you know went within you've went into hermit mode you've went into doing this the inner work the spiritual uh, great work and now you're at completion here now you've made it to the finish line you're right there, right before you close the door, okay, on this season. Make sure that you celebrate your achievements. Make sure that you do a review and that you, you know, have taken time to look at everything that you have been through, that you've learned, okay? When you do this, it keeps you from repeating, you know, cycles or, you know, attracting the wrong people maybe in your life always do a review okay and and take that knowledge with you because that knowledge cannot be taken from you it's power okay and when you show you know happiness and you're celebrating and you're you know a, celebrating your success from achieving you know even though this may have been a hard season you made it celebrate it that is showing gratitude okay then you have the devil here the energy of capricorn this is you feeling limited and restricted uh, in this last season this is what has uh, thrown you into that dark night of the soul where you did the inner work and now you are breaking free okay there is a huge shift there's a huge you know it's like the tower has just crumbled and now you are able to pick yourself up and move forward you're no longer stuck you're no longer imprisoned right here for some of you this is the end of an addiction this is an end of alcoholism this is the end of maybe um, overeating something that had you in its its grasp that you felt you could not live without is over 
and you have broken free from it and congratulations okay it could be could have been a way of thinking a mindset um, that was negative now you have the magician Gemini and Virgo energy very powerful you know this is you know spirits way of saying that you hold all the tools within you to be able to create your reality you've got to focus set your intentions manifest and take action with passion take that first step it's needed you've got to take that first step in the direction that's going to get you closer to what it is that you're wanting to manifest two of coins is clarifying the magician i mean this is like step by step here with the one and the two okay the two of coins look at this you're trading in these for this golden one right here in the ocean that's kind of how i see that and this is a huge shift that's coming in here you have an opportunity this jupiter energy um you know it's serendipity you're getting blessed you have an opportunity of a lifetime coming in here it's going to be like you know a golden golden opportunity but it requires you to make the decision to let these two go and take this big one in the center which means you may have to you know pack up and move your family to another city another state okay it may require you to step outside of your comfort zone it may require you to do something you've never done before but you can do it or it wouldn't have been offered to you whatever this opportunity is it's for the betterment of your situation and your families now you have the king of wands right here aries leo sagittarius energy whether you're male or female this is that go-getter this is that determination this is a healing energy a spiritual teacher um this is an entrepreneur this is somebody that they know what they want and nothing's going to stop them from achieving their goal they have so much passion and desire for what it is that they're they're going after then we have death right here this is the energy of scorpio and this is clarifying this king of wands so this tells me that maybe in while you were in the midst of doing the inner work going through the dark night of the soul you had that epiphany you had you know you've opened up the lines of communication between you and the divine which has allowed the messages to come through and now you know what you want to do now you know what this new beginning holds but you had to do you had to do this okay you had to have a rebirth and go through that huge transformation in order for you to be able to understand and to transition into a new beginning and this is a promise that this new beginning is going to be a successful new beginning that comes from your creativity your powerful energy then we have the eight of wands okay exciting news coming in here you guys this is news i feel like that has to do with this opportunity that has to do with the new beginning it's exciting um this is you know you're going to be so happy when you hear this some of you could be getting on a plane you could be traveling for some of you this is a new romance okay um you're going to be crossing paths with someone that you connect with on a very deep soul level that's because you're soul connected then you have the chariot the energy of cancer clarifying this eight of wands and this is so powerful you guys this is you releasing control this is you you know taking that step you know in the major arcana where you know you no longer worry about finances you no longer worry about how things are going to come together you just already know that they are coming together it will happen and this is you having a great deal of inner strength and willpower this is you being able to bring opposing forces and energies and bringing them together merging them into one and that is so amazing you know this right here is you going after your happiness okay you're going after you know what really truly brings you 
joy and happiness and you're not worried about anything except for being on that new path the new beginning and it's full speed ahead from here it's such positive energy and this also talks about you being divinely guided and you've released that control and now the divine is guiding you so you're going full speed ahead it's like having the angels in front of you and 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 one behind you and you're just you're moving and this again success 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 right here this is triumph over adversity this is being able to you know persevere and go after what it is that you want and desire and be cared for the universe has got your back this is such a spiritual daily reading right here all right thank you spirit light and love your purpose is to bring divine healing light and love to this world see for some of you this dark night of the soul energy you know this cycle that you're coming out of you have mastered you know something that now you can use as a career and to help others as well writing you heal inspire teach and entertain with the words you write that is amazing some of you are very gifted as far as maybe writing short stories maybe it's writing songs maybe it's inspirational if you haven't tried it maybe you should try writing okay if it's something that's been you know you've been thinking about doing maybe poetry do it you're going to inspire someone with with what it is that you know you put on paper what comes from that flows through you from the divine and and onto the paper it's like a channel and I'm getting automatic writing for um, a few of you if you don't know what that means look it up Google it uh, you're very gifted there and if this is something that you has caught your attention please go look it up because it's meant for you too all right automatic writing you know you're a channel and you guys are very gifted your healers all right you guys I love each and every one of you with all of my heart please leave me a comment let me know how these energies are playing out in your situation I send you all my love wishes and blessings and I'll see you back here tomorrow bye bye everyone